Greetings folks, let's have a look at moving a camera through some uh, Photoshop objects in motion. Okay, so uh, this is the end result. Let's play that. Nice camera moving through the objects with some depth of field. Okay, so let's uh, close this and start from scratch. Okay, so new uh, 25 frames per second. Here we go. So I've created a new project and I'm going to go to File, Import, and this will give me a few more options. When I bring up the, uh, the let's have a look. Uh, import, here we go. This is the file I'm after. Balloons at C. Okay, so I'm going to import this. And rather than merge layers, I'm going to choose all layers. And hit OK. There we go. So now I'll make this fit. I've got all the layers nicely separated. So I'm going to take the boat and the background and I'm going to group those together. So then I and call this layer background. Oops, a terrible typist. Background, so I've got uh, so I've got my balloons and I want to get this layer out onto a, a separate layer there. Just pull that on top. Okay, so I've now got my background at the back there, and this is ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is put a new camera on this, switch to 3D, there we go. And I can now look in my perspective view and I can spin this around, pull this back a bit. First I'm going to take the background and I'm going to take that and push that all the way to the back. So it's nicely in the distance. <clears throat> you can see that in your little viewer there and I'm also going to take this scale this up so I'll go to properties and scale and I can see in my viewer at the bottom right that I want it to fill the background again okay and then I'm just going to take these balloons my blue balloon there I'm going to move them about so they're in different places in 3d space it's going to be on my uh, actual inner Pull this forward. I can see there where I'm putting it. Okay, move these about. Push some back. <laughs> there we go. Just generally moving these around to get a look I'm after. Go to my active camera there, and I've now got my balloons. Nicely spread out in 3D space. So what I want to do to these balloons is give them some motion. Okay, so on the group I'm going to go to behaviors, simulations, I'm going to choose random motion. So this is going to, well it's moving all these about and I just want it on the balloons group. So it's just, so it doesn't move the background. Okay, so this isn't what I want, but if I click on this, affect sub-objects, now I've got, there we go, now my balloons are floating about. Okay, and I may take the amount down, just so they're just drifting there. So they've just got a little drift on them. Which is nice. I might just take up the noisiness a little bit, maybe the frequency. Just, just playing about to get a kind of nice motion there. Okay, so we've got that, and now I just want to move the camera through the objects. So I could also go to the camera, go to uh, the camera behaviors there, and choose dolly. Okay, and I'm going to move to the end. Go to my inspector and I can see, okay, that, that's probably, well, so that's going to dolly through. I might choose my speed to maybe uh, ease both. So it just 
stats. Okay, maybe a little more motion there on my balloons. All right, and I'll take the boat as well. And I'm just going to, on the properties, hit a little keyframe on the boat, come forward to the end, move the boat along. So the boat's just sailing in the distance. And also the camera, I want the depth of field turned on so that we get a nice, as the camera pulls forward, we get things coming in and out of focus. And I just want to, I can change the options for the depth of field. So have a look at my perspective, click on the camera. I want to increase this a little bit. So go to camera and do the far plane, push that forward a bit, and maybe the near plane, bring that in. Oh, on one sorry, that's what I want. Near focus, far focus, push that out so we get the boat as well. Should do it. Let's try that. Okay, so now we've got the boat. So just coming more, we've got more objects in focus as we push through. Okay. So, nice, uh, nice simple tutorial there. Great way to animate files that you brought in that are layered. Enjoy!